Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. So in our previous video, we learned about the browser context in detail where we discussed like how to open a new tab and new browser and also we discussed like the different types of close commands and few other functions like how to use bring to front and also like how to interact with multiple tabs or the browser. Okay. Now today in this video, we are going to learn yet another awesome feature of Playwright that is record video. So let's say that when we run our test script, um, so we get the uh, reports like HTML or screenshot through which we can find the defects or we can see how our script has performed or like we got the actual and expected like the testing scenarios, right? In Playwright, we can do the recording, like video recording as well of the execution of script. In Playwright with TypeScript, we have more feature where we can set configuration like we want to record the video on like always or only on failure or only on retry. So we have different options. But in Playwright with Java, we have very limited because we don't have the Playwright test runner feature here in java but still we can record the video and we can see the output so let us see how to do that it's going to be very simple just a one line of code so yesterday we learned about this browser new context where we have discussed this scenario as well right so we'll just go to this particular site we'll click on the login link we'll enter our credentials and we'll click on the uh, login button and then we'll get the username we are just going to print it out now to save this steps in a as a video format what we have to do is we have to use the new context and within the new context we have to say like new browser dot new context options and there we have one functions like set video directory where we where we have to set the uh, path of the video so for example in my package explorer you can see like we do not have any folder related to videos so i'm just going to create a folder here so videos slash okay that means like in the runtime it will create a folder called videos and then within that folder it will it is going to save all the uh, recorded files okay and here we have some compile time issue let's go and yeah so here we have to use the option called path dot get and within this we have to give this one okay so path is like it is from your uh, java java not the playwright so it's basically like we are trying to get the path of this particular location by the way the location this location will be created in the runtime okay so that's it we are pretty much done now let me run this and show you the output So the execution is completed and here we can see the output as well. So if I go to my package explorer and if I do right click and refresh here you can see like we got a new folder called videos within that we have a file called uh, with some name and a file format is webm. Webm is nothing like uh, similar to mp4 or the avi or the mkv. We have this webm which is mostly used in the uh, uh, like html documents. Okay. So if I open the folder in my system explorer, if I go within the videos folder, so here you can see like we got a file which is less than 50 KB. And if I open this, of course our test script is very small. So it just recorded for like a second. And here you can see like we are missing with the clarity. So the file, like the content clarity is not that great, right? So if you want to increase the, uh, your, resolution of your file you can do that it's very simple so here we have to select set video size and we have to specify the height and width for example let's say that we want to record in hd mode so 1280 into 720 now if i go and run this again okay let's go to the folder and here of course we got a new file and this is now you can see like it's like 
200 KB. Okay, so if I open this now, and here you can see like we got some clarity. Even you can increase based on your system resolution, I will say. But I think this is pretty much good. So once you start increasing your resolution, of course, the file size will be increased. So here you can see like it's around 200 KB, and this guy is around like less than 50 KB. Okay, so like into three three times of size and by default when we don't specify the size it will record the video in 800 into 450 pixels okay and also never forget to use this one so context.close is mandatory if you don't use this while the script is executing that means your video won't be get saved so make sure you are going to call this and this guy of course to close the playwright instance okay so yeah that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply uh, see you in the next one Tada, bye bye take care